If you have spent any time browsing for pens on the internet, it can feel rather daunting. There's just so many options out there and not all of them are good to carry in your pocket every day. So today I'm gonna give you 10 examples, 10 really good pens that you should consider both in a compact form factor, but also in a full size. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, before we get to my top 10 list, I wanna point out some honorable mentions that didn't quite make the cut. Now, the first two are actually disposable, meaning one-time use. And because of that, I didn't include them in my list, but they are some of the best pens and I use them all the time. The first one is the double-sided twin tip Sharpie. So having a precise tip, meaning you can use it as a standard pen, but also having the thick tip for many different tasks, man, I just, I have them everywhere. They're on my desk, they're in my bags, and they come in a variety of different colors that you can get them in sort of a highlighter approach. These are excellent and coming in under $2, they're absolutely worth it. The second one is not as obvious. So this Uniball pen has been around for a very long time. So it is of course very good as it sits. It has a nice metal clip and because of how white it is, it sits very well in pretty much any pocket. You're not gonna press anything here, so you're not gonna accidentally write in your pocket, so that's also really good. But what's really magical about this particular pen or this style of pen is that inside is a felt sponge, as it were, like it's a tube that has the ink inside. And because of that, you can simply cut it to any length and it still continues to function as a pen, meaning that you can cut say about half an inch or more of this pen and actually make it a more compact variety without really affecting it except for usage time. So I like this pen quite a bit. I've modified a few of them to make them shorter. And uh, yeah, just definitely worth mentioning. A great pen, you can buy these in a pack of 12 and they run and they run and they run and they actually have a great writing implement as well. They've been around forever. Highly, highly recommended. Now, besides disposable pens, there's one pen that actually probably should have been on this list, but man, it was a really, really tight list, so it's very difficult. There's a couple that maybe were slightly better, and for those reasons, I included it. But this is a right in the rain click pen, and this is identical to the one that is made by Fisher, it's just cheaper. In fact, the inserts that are built in here, the right in the rain inserts, are actually Fisher Space Pen refills made by Fisher themselves. And I'm pretty sure the rest of the pen is as well. It's simply a rebrand. So this doesn't quite make the list, but it is absolutely an excellent consideration. And the last two, well, one's a pencil, but it's the same thing. So I figured we'd go ahead and talk about it. So these are probably the smallest pen and pencil set you'll ever find. And they're designed specifically to fit in a wallet. And check this out. So this actually has a pen and it actually has a retractable capability as well. They're not much different. Than, care, than holding an actual refill and then writing with it. It really doesn't feel that much different, except that they keep the tip from actually writing on things and they have a little carrier so that you can put it in your wallet. So they're worth mentioning. They are very, very cool. They're just kind of very specialized. Still something you want to be made aware of. Now this list is gonna be broken into two categories. One of them is going to be compact pens like these and the other one is gonna be full size. So starting with compact pens, we have the Paca pens. Now there are so many varieties. They're like what I like to call EDC Skittles. There's just so many colors, so many different flavors of Paca pens. So you have them in aluminum if you want to choose that. You can get them in the standard plastic approach. They have different colors. Some of them are clear. Some of them are wood finished plastic. Basically every flavor you can find it. I've even contacted them to have them make me a whole bunch and I'll be going back to them very soon to get a whole bunch more so I can start giving more of them away in the future. And I don't feel bad about it because man, there aren't many better pens in this form factor. There really aren't. They even went ahead and made it more comfortable to use by actually shaping it. It's not just a standard cylinder. They've really done a great job. These inserts, also replaceable, which is another bonus. So I know that even when I run out, I can always go and replace it so I don't have to continue to add plastic to the landfill, as it were. So I really, really like that approach. They also offer a right in the rain variant. So they make pens for right in the rain 
with Fisher Space Pen inserts. So three USA companies working together and you can find those as well. And they can be as little as like seven bucks each. And they have the ability to write upside down in the water, in the rain and all of that. So excellent, excellent pens. I can't say enough. You can get them with an attachment for your, for your keys. You can get them with a pocket clip if you choose to do that as well. You can get them with an aluminum case, which is what this is. So this is a, a plain finish aluminum. They also have a black as well. So there's just so many different varieties of pocket pens. I cannot recommend them enough. They're like one of my pens that I don't feel bad about literally handing to people, which is why I had these made in the first place. So it's like, hey, do you have a pen? Yeah, here, you keep it. That's exactly why I love these things. And I feel so good that I can patronize just an awesome company in general. I cannot recommend these enough. The next one is an Icon. And I will tell you that this is probably my least favorite of the compact pens, even though it is the most favorite for so many other people. So I can't leave it off the list. In past versions that I've had, I've had a lot of difficulty getting it out of the case. I definitely have to use two hands, if not potentially ripping this little gasket. However, this new one, which I bought recently, does not seem to have any of those issues. So it is possible that they have improved it over time. This one also comes with a pocket clip. And I have to admit, it's probably one of my least favorite clips because it doesn't come very tall. And it ends up being that the pocket only, it probably only goes up to about here in your pocket. So is it a great pen? Absolutely. Does it write well? Absolutely. And it looks fantastic. It's just an iconic piece that is worth mentioning, but it is by far not my favorite <laughs> compact pen. But come on, the looks, you gotta, you gotta admit, this is traditionally one of the most popular compact pens or EDC pens that exist in the world. So the Fisher Space Pen Bullet, it's definitely worth the consideration. If I was gonna recommend one compact pen to basically anyone, I think this might be it. And mostly because unlike the pocket pen, it actually includes the pocket clip. You don't have to buy it separately. And this is a good clip with a solid steel construction, deep carry, and plenty of space to fit in the pocket. It also has an attachment if you wanna put it on your keys, which you definitely can. And it has O-rings that allow it to stay sealed. Now, I also find that the texturing on this is quite nice and the refills are very easy to access. So pretty much everything you need in a compact form factor and for a ridiculously low price, well under $10. So do I recommend this? Absolutely. Do I think it's one of the best ones? Definitely. Highly recommended with, to get the F301 from Zebra. Yeah, not much more to say. It's just a really, really good pen. Now let's say you didn't like the bullet form factor and you thought that the Zebra wasn't premium enough. Well, here you go. You have the Portage pen from Right in the Rain. Now this includes a Fisher Space Pen insert and is very, very nice. I will admit though that being in a solid steel construction, it is a little bit heavy, but it's made up for by having one of the best clips, very, very easy to slip in and out of the pocket with a lot of retention as well. And I, I do like writing with it. It's a little bit heavier than any of the other pens, actually not a little bit, a lot heavier than those pens and still is able to be used one-handed without any real issues. Just keeping in mind that this is more on the premium side, just under $30, but still highly recommended. Pretty much anything you buy from Right in the Rain, it's gonna be made in the US and it's gonna be really high quality with good Fisher inserts. So definitely something to keep an eye out for and another good compact pen. The last pen in the compact category is this. This is the Expands with a Z, and basically you just pull it out and it deploys. It doesn't require you to manipulate anything or flip it around, but yet has the same compact form factor of something that is, well, quite a bit different. So this is only slightly longer than the F301 and absolutely doesn't require much of anything. It's very easy to do one-handed as well, and you're ready to rock and roll. The nice thing about these types of pens is you can't press on them anywhere for the pen to come out and just start writing in your pocket. And I think that that's one of the big advantages of having a compact pen, and this is no exception. 
So this particular variant, which is all stain like stainless steel, might be a little bit more difficult to find, but they make a bunch of different types of pens. But this particular one, the Expands, has the better clip in my opinion, and actually is a little bit wider, which I prefer. It feels a little bit more form filling. And yeah, highly recommend checking one of these out. They come in usually under $10 if you're looking around. And yeah, it's a home run. We're gonna start talking about full size pens and begin with this. Now, I wasn't sure I was gonna include it on the list. It's not because it doesn't deserve it, but because I'm worried that if I tell the world about this pen, I'll never be able to find them again. <laughs> This is the BIC 401 Pro. So you've probably seen this pen before, but it's in that powder blue and white, which frankly looks awful. And I hate carrying them. They don't look professional. They're just, they're functional, but they look awful. This on the other hand, looks awesome. And uh, it comes in a pack of 12. Now you can buy these on Amazon and they work out to be less than $2 each. I don't know what more to say. Um, you, when you go to the store, you go to Staples or Office Depot, you're gonna buy one of these in that color combo, the blue and the white, for like three or $4 each. These are fantastic user pens. And I find myself using a multi-pen quite often because I wanna make different types of notes on my page. And when I have one in my hand, it's a very quick process. Start with say green, and then quickly switch to black. It is such a simple thing. It's highly, highly recommended. And all of these, if you take care of them, the refills are very inexpensive as well. So in theory, I have enough to last me a long time, but please don't buy all of them because I'll never be able to get them again. But I need you to know that this exists and they are freaking awesome. The next pen is another icon. This is the Parker Jotter. And I gotta say, that sound is one of the most iconic things you will hear. It's been in so many movies. One of my favorites, of course, being Goldeneye, where he turns this into a grenade. Uh, yeah, amazing. Anyway, I have had one of these for more than a decade. They are not personally my favorite pen to use because I like a thicker barrel, but for some people, they really like that fine, like narrow tip, and there isn't many other pens that do it better than the Parker Jotter. They have an excellent refill that lasts a long, long time, and uh, they have a really iconic clip. They are very elegant, but you can also get them in a budget-friendly iteration as well. These can be as low as $3 and as high as around 15 bucks, but definitely something to consider and highly, highly recommended. I think you can tell which one I use more just from taking a look at the F701, which I have right here. This, as far as a pen that comes in under that $15 mark, I think this has absolutely everything that I'm looking for in a click pen. So it comes with a very good insert. It is all steel construction. And the thing that really gets me is this texturing. It feels like finger Velcro. I never slip. It's nice and wide, which I prefer to have a wider hand uh, grip. It's less fatiguing on my hand personally. And I think the icing on the cake here is without any modification, you could take a Fisher Space Pen refill and then put it into this pen and it will work flawlessly. It has a very good clip that has plenty of space to accommodate any thickness of pant and a great snap. It's just a really, really, really good pen. I mean, I don't have to sell this, right? It's been around for a long time. It has the option to have multiple different inserts you can use. Enough said, right? The next pen on the list is going to be this bolt action pen from Right in the Rain. Now this is topping out our budget at exactly $30 basically. And uh, let's talk about bolt action pens for a second. I only have one on my list because the others that are at this price point usually aren't very good quality. This one actually does have good quality and it comes with a Fisher Space Pen insert, but it's made by Fisher, uh, but marked as right in the rain. But keep in mind, you can see that right there, Fisher, right? That, that, they're the ones making these pens for them, which is awesome. And that keeps the price, somehow they're able to negotiate an even better price. I love the texturing that they've done on this. Very, very grippy. I don't know what to say. This is a recent discovery and highly recommended at the sub $30 price point. Now, what's the advantage to having a bolt action pen besides the fidget factor is that from both sides, you can't 
actuate the pen. So when this is in your pocket, you press down on the top, nothing happens. So you're never gonna mark the inside of your pocket. That is one of the big advantages of bolt action pen. And as far as the budget is concerned, all the ones that are lower than this, the quality is just not this good. So I highly recommend this one of all of the choices. There's others, but yeah, right in the rain, can't go wrong. Given the choice to only have one pen for the rest of my life, this is the pen I would choose. This is the Aviator B3. Now let me grab the right one here. The Aviator B3 is made by a company called Skillcraft. Now this is a company that makes office supplies for government contracts, and they employ thousands of people who are blind on top of everything else. In fact, this pen was assembled right here in the US by somebody who was likely blind. And I didn't find that out till way later after purchasing all of these. So it's just icing on the cake that we get to give jobs to people making these products here in the US. And this thing is functionally perfect. I don't use that term very often, but it really, really is. Now I have the big four in one, and this is my disposable variety, if you will. This is in plastic and I've broken a couple of them by sitting on them right here at the joint. But this being in metal, I've never had that problem. Also, there's nothing to accidentally press on this. You don't actuate it in that manner. All you have to do is rotate. So this has a red pen, a pencil, and a black pen. And the way it works, if you go to the pencil here, you can then simply press down and it'll deploy the, the, um, the lead or graphite, everyone gets on to me about that. But yeah, it's always been called lead. There's an eraser in the back. You can put additional um, graphite pieces in here as well. And uh, yeah, all she wrote, it's all you really need in a pen. And it's such a compact form factor. It's got that nice matte black finish. And as you can see, there is brass underneath. And so what I've done is I actually took one and I brushed the whole thing off and all of a sudden we have a nice brass pen. I wish they would actually just release one like this because it would sell like hotcakes to the EDC market. I just don't know why they don't do that, but overall, fantastic. And I cannot recommend any pen higher than the Aviator B3. It just, it would be impossible for me to do so. I am very much a functional person, and this is just the culmination of function and form and price and value. So we have about 19 to $25, depending on the variety. They even have one that has a stylus tip if that's something that you enjoy. What's more to say? The Aviator B3, I think it caps off this top 10 list perfectly. Now, obviously I couldn't fit every single pen in this top 10 list. And there's a lot more that are worth considering. So what I've done is I've made a shopping list that you can find down in the description which is gonna be linked to a whole bunch of different pens that I will be updating over time. So regardless of when you watch this, you might be able to find something you're looking for. Let me know if you don't, or you think there's a gem that I'm missing, and I will add it to the list. Now this video is actually part of a series of videos where we cover different categories of EDC gear. And if you want to see the others, there's a playlist right over here. As always, thank you for your time, and we'll talk again soon.